and Jake Paul trying to climb the ladder through Mike Tyson. I, I, it's not, it's not, it's not a good look for him. It just pisses me off. It and then. Okay, take a break. Take a break. Yeah, take a breather. Take, take a we, breather. we can sit for a second. Jake Paul, twenty-seven. You, you are a disgrace of a man. You are the epitome of weakness. Jake Paul wants to take the sport serious, and he should be fighting young guys who are top fifteen, top ten, not not heroes and legends like Mike Tyson. Hey everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a boxing fan or just love some juicy drama, today's video is a must watch. We've got a massive topic on our hands, Oscar De La Hoya's recent explosive comments about Jake Paul, the fight world's rising star, and his upcoming bout with the legendary Mike Tyson. Buckle up because this deep dive is about to get intense. So let's start with the big news. Oscar De La Hoya, one of boxing's most respected voices, has just dropped a bombshell on Jake Paul. That's right, the golden boy himself is not holding back. Oscar has gone on record, and his criticism of Jake Paul is nothing short of a verbal smackdown. Oscar's frustration with Jake Paul's boxing career is palpable. He's fed up with what he sees as Paul's superficial approach to the sport, and he's not afraid to let everyone know about it. According to De La Hoya, Jake Paul isn't just playing games, he's supposedly juiced up to the gills and leeching off the sport for fame and fortune. Let's break down exactly what Oscar had to say and why it's creating such a stir. Oscar De La Hoya's criticism of Jake Paul is as blunt as it gets. He's accusing Jake of being a fraud, saying that the YouTuber turned boxer is all show and no substance. De La Hoya believes that Jake Paul is exploiting the sport of boxing rather than contributing to it. He's painting Jake as someone who's more interested in the glitz and glamour than in making a genuine impact in the ring. Oscar's comments have sparked a massive debate in the boxing community. Is Jake Paul really just a boxing parasite as De La Hoya claims? Let's take a closer look at why Oscar feels this way. First off, Oscar's calling out Jake for supposedly being juiced up that's right performance enhancing drugs. De La Hoya suggesting that Jake's impressive physique isn't entirely natural and that he's been using substances to gain an edge. This accusation is huge because it questions Jake's entire career and credibility. If Jake's been using PDs, it could spell disaster for his reputation and his future in the sport. Oscar's also criticized Jake's choice of opponents. According to him, Jake is cherry picking fights against opponents who are past their prime or who aren't, who aren't real threats. The problem isn't just that Jake is fighting retired fighters, but that these matchups are seen as easy wins that pad his record rather than genuine tests of skill. Now let's talk about the upcoming fight with Mike Tyson. Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson on paper, it sounds like a dream matchup, but in reality, it's causing a lot of controversy. Oscar De La Hoya is far from impressed. He views this fight as a blatant cash grab and an attempt by Jake Paul to stay relevant by clinging to the legacy of a true boxing icon. Oscar's argument is that Jake Paul's fight with Tyson is less about testing his skills and more about making headlines and drawing a crowd. Tyson at nearly 60 years old is not in his prime, and De La Hoya believes it's disrespectful to pit him against someone like Jake Paul, who's relatively new to the sport. De La Hoya's stance is that this matchup is a farce. It's a spectacle designed to bring in viewers rather than a meaningful boxing match. He's suggesting that Jake Paul is taking advantage of Tyson's name and legacy rather than earning his stripes against competitive opponents. I think Mike Tyson, uh, Jake Paul, look, it's, it's one of those fights where, again, the world's gonna watch. It's gonna create new eyeballs for, for boxing. Um, it's going to create a lot of news all over the world. Uh, but I, I stick to my message, and that is if Jake Paul wants to take the sport serious, then he should be fighting young guys who are top 15, top 10. Oscar De La Hoya isn't just criticizing from the sidelines, he's issuing a challenge to Jake Paul. Oscar's challenge is simple. If Jake wants to be taken seriously as a boxer, he needs to fight real contenders, not retired legends or easy targets. De La Hoya is calling for Jake to step up and prove himself against top ranked fighters. Oscar believes that if Jake Paul wants to earn respect in the boxing world, he needs to fight young skilled boxers who are currently in the top 15 or top 10 of their weight class. He's saying that beating up on past their prime fighters doesn't earn you real respect. It's about facing and overcoming the best in your current generation. This challenge is a direct call to action. It's Oscar's way of saying that if Jake Paul wants to be considered a true boxer and not just a celebrity fighter, he needs to prove his worth in the ring against serious competition. The much anticipated fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson has faced its share of setbacks. Originally scheduled to be a blockbuster event, it's now been pushed to November 15th, 2024 due to Tyson's health issues. Tyson suffered an ulcer flare-up and needed medical attention, leading to the postponement of the fight. While fans were initially disappointed, Tyson's reassurance that he'll be back in full training soon has somewhat calmed the waters. However, the delay has added more fuel to the fire. De La Hoya's comments have only intensified the scrutiny on this matchup. The delay raises questions about Tyson's fitness and readiness. Is he still the formidable opponent Jake Paul was hoping for? Will Tyson's health issues affect his performance? These are crucial questions that will likely impact the fight's outcome and its reception among fans and critics alike. Let's dive deeper 
deeper into the allegations of performance enhancing drugs. Oscar De La Hoya's accusations against Jake Paul are serious. If proven true, they could have significant repercussions for Jake's career. Paid accusations are no small matter. They could lead to legal trouble, fines, and a massive hit to Jake's reputation. Jake Paul has been making headlines for his rapid physical transformation, and Oscar's comments add a new layer of controversy. If Jake's muscles and newfound strength are the result of peds, it would undermine the legitimacy of his achievements in the ring. De La Hoya's comments are particularly damaging because they question not just Jake's current performance, but his entire career. If Jake's been using peds, it raises doubts about all his past fights and victories. This scandal could potentially overshadow his future bouts and damage his credibility permanently. Mike Tyson's legacy in boxing is monumental. He's built his career on respect, hard work, and fairness. Tyson is the epitome of what a boxer should be. He's a living legend. If Jake Paul is indeed cheating, it's not just an insult to Tyson, but to the sport itself. Boxing has a rich history of integrity and honor, and scandals like Pete accusations can tarnish its reputation. Tyson's role in the sport is to uphold these values, and any attempt to undermine them will be met with strong opposition. De La Hoya's comments underscore the importance of maintaining the sport's integrity. It's about ensuring that boxing remains a fair and respected competition. If Jake's been cheating, it's a serious issue that could have far-reaching consequences for the sport. Oscar De La Hoya's final thoughts on Jake Paul are both scathing and challenging. He's not just criticizing Jake, he's laying down a gauntlet. If Jake Paul wants to be taken seriously, he needs to step up and fight real boxers, not just those who are easy targets. Oscar's message is clear, fight real contenders, show genuine skill, and earn respect. It's a challenge that could define Jake Paul's future in boxing. Will he rise to the occasion and prove himself? Or will he continue to rely on easy matchups and celebrity status? De La Hoya's critique is a pivotal moment in Jake Paul's boxing career. It's a chance for Jake to either solidify his place in the sport or risk being labeled a fraud. The coming months will be crucial into crucial in determining the trajectory of Jake Paul's boxing journey. I think he's made a tremendous mistake here because he's a real fighter. He's gonna get in shape. He's not afraid to mix it up. And he's gonna go ride at Jake Paul. Not counting. Bro, it's wild to me. And then in all the comments like, oh dude, you must think it's bare knuckle. This is boxing. I'm like, oh, you don't know what a dog Mike Perry is. Yeah, he's a pit bull. You need to do your goddamn research. Mike There's Perry no is. quit. He's a game bred pit bull. He's going to get in your face for all eight of those rounds. Anyways. I think, uh, God dang it, that's a, actually a tough fight to predict. Because oh. uh, Mike's in it, but he's in bare knuckle. It is a different sport, different size space to fight, a different range. It's, you know, it's very similar, but very different. Jake's been boxing. Mike's been bare knuckle boxing. You just don't get it. it, it, it. Jake Paul has gone wild after Joe Rogan's brutal takedown of the upcoming Mike Perry fight. This epic clash is set for July 20th, and UFC commentator Joe Rogan has shared his controversial predictions, shaking up the entire fight world. Rogan put all his faith in Platinum Perry, and his comments have Jake Paul flipping out. Stay tuned as we dive into this explosive showdown and uncover why Rogan believes Perry will knock Paul Sparks out. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Joe Rogan has shared his ultimate breakdown of this highly anticipated match on the Joe Rogan Experience. Rogan's known for his brutally honest takes on everything from MA to boxing, and this time, He's firmly in Perry's corner. He warns fans that counting out Platinum Perry because he's a bare knuckle brawler is a rookie mistake. Rogan's words carry weight and when he speaks, the fight world listens. I don't see Jake Paul standing a chance against someone like Mike Perry. Perry's experience and power are on a different level. Ouch, that's got to sting if you're Jake Paul. Not counting. Bro, it's wild to me. And then in all the comments like, oh dude, you must think it's bare knuckle. This is boxing. I'm like, oh, you don't know what a dog Mike Perry is. Yeah, he's a pit bull. You need to do your goddamn research. Oh, There's Perry no is. quit. He's a game bred pit bull. He's going to get in your face for all eight of those rounds. Anyway. Joe's blunt comments quickly made waves across social media, shaking the confidence of many who thought this fight would be a walk in the park for the YouTuber turned boxer love him or hate him, there's no denying Jake has made a name for himself in the fight world with his knockout wins. But his only loss, handed to him by Tommy Fury, showed that he can be beaten. Mike Perry, though not Tommy Fury, is still a beast. Rogan believes this fight will be brutal, contrary to what many boxing fans expected. Well, Perry, time to go back to school. Jake Paul, never one to shy away from controversy, took to social media to respond. And boy, did he go wild. The problem child posted a fiery video of himself back in the gym, gearing up to put Perry to sleep in the ring. Jake Paul, Mike Perry, bring it on. I'm ready to take on anyone. Jake didn't stop there. He also took to Twitter, posting a clip claiming that Perry would flatline him in the ring and that he made a huge mistake signing the contract. Jake Paul, I've made a massive mistake. Jake's response was juicy, launching a verbal smackdown at Rogan and giving fans a sneak peek of his intense training sessions. But is it enough to take down Perry? Let's dive into Rogan's detailed analysis. Joe Rogan's been in the game long enough to know every corner of the ring. His prediction isn't just a wild guess, he's broken down every aspect of the fight leading to Perry's victory. 
Mike Perry is a gamer pit bull. He'll get in Jake's face for all eight rounds. Jake Paul might not be ready for that level of aggression and experience. Rogan points out that Perry's relentless style and experience make him a formidable opponent. While Jake Paul has shown he can deliver powerful shots, his durability against a seasoned fighter like Perry is up for debate. Mike Perry isn't just any fighter, he's a seasoned professional who started his career with the UFC. With a record of 1480 in MMA, Perry decided to test his waters in the bare knuckle fighting championship. Becoming the league's top athlete with an undefeated record, Joe wasn't kidding when he said Mike's a game bird pit bull. On the other hand, Jake Paul, who entered the boxing scene in 2020, has proven himself against retired MMA stars and NBA players. But when it comes to professional boxers, his only seasoned opponent was Tommy Fury, who handed him his first loss. Jake's powerful right hand and improving footwork make him a decent boxer, but facing someone like Perry is a whole new level. Perry's aggressive close quarters combat style contrasts with Jake's reliance on his powerful right hand and setup punches. Perry's experience and toughness will test Jake's abilities like never before. Perry is a fighter. Mike Perry wasn't necessarily the best jiu-jitsu artist or had the best wrestling, but there's not a fight that Mike Perry won't take. I've spoken to Mike Perry on several occasions and he is the epitome of a real fighter. And he's an absolute star in the bare knuckle order. Other pros are also sharing their takes on this much anticipated fight. Former MMA star Michael Bisping and analyst Chael Sonnen believe Jake is underestimating Perry's ability in the ring. Michael Bisping added, Mike Perry is a real fighter. He's going to get in shape, mix it up, and go right at Jake Paul. I think Jake's made a tremendous mistake here. Perry versus Jake Paul. I, I think it's more of a competitive match. I think Mike would a little, oh, Tyson was just a little bit too, you know, age, weather. Uh, but I think Mike Perry versus Jake Paul is a very, very interesting, very competitive fight. I think it would be the most competitive fight uh, Jake's had other outside of the to uh, Tommy Fury fight. I would be very interested to see it, and I'm excited to see it. I think it's actually happening July 20th, and I don't know where, but I want to go. Chael Sonnen says this is going to be the most competitive fight Jake's had. It's a tough one to predict. Perry has been begging for this fight with Paul since 2020, and now that it's finally happening, he's determined to blow up Paul's future plans. July 20th is about to be one hell of a day. I think, uh, God dang it, that's actually a tough fight to predict. Because uh, Mike's in it, but he's in bare knuckle. It is a different sport, different size space to fight in, different range. It's, you know, it's very similar, but very different. Jake's been boxing. Mike's been bare knuckle boxing. You just don't get it. With Mike Tyson pulling out of his fight with Paul due to health issues, Perry has taken on the challenge. This fight will determine if Jake can prove his critics wrong or if Perry will end his winning streak. As Jake Paul prepares to prove his critics wrong, including Joe Rogan, the fight world eagerly awaits the outcome. Mike's training footage compared to Jake's sparring fail is a wake-up call for the YouTuber turned boxer to say the least. This performance has raised a lot of eyebrows in the fight world, and boxing pros are hopping on the bandwagon to share their two cents on the whole fiasco. Very few have praised Jake Paul for finally stepping in with tough opponents, while many others are on the same page as Rogan and believe that Jake might be in over his head. UFC president Dana White always has something to say about Jake and he has weighed in. White has been against the Mike Tyson BS. Jake Paul matchup since day one. He's a strong believer that Mike should stay out of the ring for good and respect his age. He believes that Paul is making a dirty move. By not only challenging, but stepping into the ring with Mike, who will be 58 by the time this fight sees the light of day. Meanwhile, Floyd Mayweather, who has had his own back and forth with Jake Paul, shared his take on the scenario too. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There's levels to this sport. Jake needs to understand that he's not at the top level yet Money Mayweather likes to stay out of the drama as much as he can, but he couldn't keep his opinion about Mike Tyson V's Jake Paul to himself. This mismatch clash has everyone talking, and due to the overhype, a lot of people are forgetting that Jake's got another hurdle to cross before he puts up gloves against Tyson. This guy is fighting Mike Perry in a couple of weeks, and this fight is going to be a close one. Mike Perry isn't 58, he's a 32-year-old athlete in his prime, and that brings a lot to the table. Jake hasn't fought an athlete close to his age in quite some time, so this one can really pose a real challenge in the ring. If you haven't been up to speed, let me fill you in with everything you need to know about Mike Perry. Perry is a former UFC star with a record of 1480, but bare knuckle is where he truly shines and dominates the game. Platinum is undefeated in bare knuckle with a record of 5-0, and it's safe to say that he's easily the league's biggest star. Now, if you're wondering about his boxing record, He's only ever stepped into the ring once against Kenneth McNeil and failed to come out on top. But that doesn't change anything because if there's anyone who can pull off an upset, it's Perry. And I'm gonna knock the teeth out of his mouth. They got beat your ass, bitch. July 20th, come and see at Emily Arena, Tampa, Florida, days in pay-per-view. Perry initially wanted to challenge Paul in a bare knuckle fight, but Paul declined the offer and went for a traditional fight instead, of course. That doesn't change anything because Perry's still confident he'd knock the man out cold. 
Jake Paul believes that Perry's going to be easy work and that he's going to get a good win to cement his status as a legitimate boxer before he steps into the ring with Tyson for the biggest fight of his. What do you think about Joe's brutal takedown of the fight? Will Jake Paul overcome Perry or is he in over his head? Fill the comment section with your thoughts, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more boxing news. See you in the next video. Make sure to check out our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.